It's me again. So, uh, yesterday a lot of people were really blown away uh, by something I showed in my video where I was able to specify an example of a method and Smalltalk was able to locate that method, locate the proper method by example. So, just to reiterate that, I was able to do something like this, uh, given this a string, lowercase string foo, what would it take to give me an uppercase string foo? And I say I want to search by example, and shazam, I find out that uh, I need to use the as uppercase message. A lot of people were impressed by this, and to be perfectly honest, I was kind of blown away, away by this uh, when I first saw it as well. Now, I'd seen this kind of functionality in other languages, particularly I'd seen it in languages like Haskell, where it's possible for the language to know that it's safe to call a function without it uh, having any possibility of uh, dangerous side effects or raising an exception or anything like that. But this is small talk. This is the opposite end of the static dynamic spectrum, and there are no kinds of there are no guarantees like that in small talk. So I was wondering how this works. Now, there's this running theme uh, when working with Smalltalk where if you have a question about something, you ask the Smalltalk environment and see if it can tell you. So that's what I'm going to try to do right now. Uh, first of all, I'm going to use a special key combination and mouse click to bring up what's called the halo on this uh, UI element, this list of possibilities here. And then I'm going to go to the debug button, and it brings up a list of possibilities here. If you have any familiarity with the model view controller kind of concept, you know that typically the way it works is a view is backed up by some kind of model. And I know that if I'm going to find the information that I'm looking for, I probably need to find the model. So I'm going to say inspect model sounds pretty good. So it looks like the model in this case is something called a finder UI object. So let's Let's browse to the definition of that class. And I find myself in a browser, I find myself with the tool finder, uh, tool dash finder category selected, and with this list of classes that are inside that category. And they're all they all seem to be related to finding, which stands to reason. Now, I could click around in here until I found what I was looking for, but uh, for the sake of brevity, I'm going to skip to the payoff here. There is this class in this method listing called Method Finder, and it has various uh, methods on it. And eventually, I get to the initialize category and the initialize method, and what do I find in there but a list of classes and messages. And similarly, when I click over to this initialize to method, I find uh, another list, and if I search down through that, eventually I discover that uh, as uppercase is included in this list. So what I found here is a whitelist of methods that are known to be safe for these kinds of find by example searches. Now obviously I abbreviated that exploratory pro process a little bit, but what's interesting about it is that I was able to go from the UI and trace all the way back to the code that made it work. And if you compare this to most other UI programming or uh, web programming, you usually can't do this kind of thing. Usually, like uh, in GUI programming, windows are operating system resources that, you know, they might be created by the code, but they don't have any way to trace back into the code that uh, is behind them. And so a lot of times people are confused by why it's so important for Smalltalk to be sort of uh, this, this closed little world where it even has its own UI. And obviously that causes some problems. Uh, it makes it unsuitable for some purposes, but this kind of shows you the uh, the power of that because it's almost like when you're a kid and you wanted to know how your toys work, and so you just broke them open and you looked inside. Well, here we can take a, we can open our toys up 
and we can take a look at what's inside. And that just seems really powerful to me.